<laughs> Sorry if my voice sounds crazy. I'm a little sick. Hey guys, what's up? Scooter here at Macintosh Tips. Today I want to give you a little bit of advice and info regarding viruses for the good old Mac OS X. As you know, people say Macs don't get viruses, but they're leaving off half of the sentence. Uh, Macs don't get viruses as much as PC. Uh, that, that's very true because Mac, any computer gets a virus, guys. Just like people get viruses, Macs and computers all get viruses. People are out there hacking right away as I as I record this video right now, trying to become the first hacker to, you know, be the biggest one on Mac OS X. Just like there are plenty of those for PCs. Uh, now, many people say the reason that Macs don't get viruses and PCs do is because of market share. And some of that's correct, some of that's incorrect. Uh, I've learned from a lot of people over the past couple of days, actually, that that's not totally true. Um, there are a lot of people using Macs. Just because their market share and the percentage-wise, the percentage numbers don't add up, uh, just the number of individual users and households using Mac is pretty large. So that's definitely not a reason why Macs don't get as many uh, viruses as PCs. And Mac OS 9, the earlier version, before Mac OS 10, had many viruses, many tune in account. Therefore, you can't really blame it on market share because Mac OS 9 had plenty of viruses. So definitely Apple has stepped up their game when it comes to virus protection when it comes to Mac OS 10 and it has been seen that most viruses that do work um, on the Mac have been co have come from pirated software. So people who recently did, uh, tried to pirate and get around buying iWork 09 and they tried to pirate off websites and get cracks and illegal downloads and things like that you did get viruses. And that just goes out there for those boneheads and it kind of deserves it. If you're trying to steal their software, hey, you're going to get a virus. Um, and I mean, that's simple. I'm pretty sure you can get that with PC as well. Today I'm going to show you a virus protection software for the Mac that comes free. And if you don't like this one, I'm going to show you. There are plenty uh, that, that uh, are in the sidebar. And if you guys use any that I don't have in the sidebar, comment them. I'll check them out and actually add those as well. Uh, now, don't forget, um, you don't have to run the virus protection software every every week or every hour or things like that which you might have to do on your PC because again Macs don't get viruses as much as PCs but it's nice that if you do have AdCal set to you know run it once a month or maybe once every other month something like that just to keep your, um, your Mac safe and protected uh, so let's go ahead and switch over to the desktop I'll show you that and uh, we'll get out of here alright so this uh, free antivirus is called iAntivirus pretty aptly iAntivirus uh, again, the link will be in the description box as well as two or three other free antivirus links. And if you do have one that you use that's not in the description box, let me know in the comments and I will be sure to put that in there as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. It's really quick. Um, it starts up in the, when you first open it up, it automatically starts when I open my MacBook. So as soon as my MacBook turns on, it's, you know, protecting my Mac. Uh, basically, it says about antivirus, the preferences, protect my Mac. If I click this off, then it will not protect it. So when I go to sites, it's not going to detect for malware or Trojans, anything like that. But I do want it to do that. If I go to show AI antivirus, this is pretty much what you get right here. You get select an action, which you get um, scan my Mac, and then you have all the versions, things like that. Uh, but if I go to scan my Mac here, you're going to find the quick scan, which is, you know, just in c common areas, files on your desktop, files in, you know, your home folder. Normal scan, pretty much going to get the whole hard drive, and it takes, uh, it takes a little bit longer. Then, of course, you have custom, which most of these have, and you can add all your own folder. So if you feel there's some music or in your iTunes library that might have, um, that might actually be corrupted, then you can do that. Or if you want to do documents, things like that. Just choose what you want and hit open and it'll run. And when it's done, it's going to bring you up to how many uh, files it, it you know detected and how many of those were infected. And uh, luckily enough, I have not had any files infected, which is great. So I antivirus uh, free. I'll give you the link in the sidebar. Peace out. Ha, you thought that was it? I can't leave you guys without giving you a little bit of my rumors on the uh, tablet. I don't want to bore you with this because I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of videos already. And plus, I can't really top John for Lakers' video because it was pretty top-notch. But uh, the main thing I want to talk about is the name of this thing. I definitely don't think I Slate will be it or anything with an I in it. Uh, Slate would sound pretty cool. Hey, let me check out that Slate you guys just got in. But I don't think I Slate. The I doesn't fit there. Um, and I think the Macintosh one in the live stream the other day said it best. Isolate kind of sounds like a um, like a cutting board. 
Yeah, I think it's going to be called the Mac Pad or the MacBook Tablet, just keeping it nice, clean, and consistent. We won't know until uh, hopefully January 26th, but I want you guys to comment in the comments telling me what you think the name will be. Thanks, guys. Peace out.